Can you tell me more about the partner and development model? So I think we, let's start with what we do for patients. We focus on medical dermatology. We're talking about thousands of disease. Many of them actually have no approved therapy. The bet and the conviction I have as a mid-sized organization, we need to be better at first identifying where there is a real unmet need. If you identify pockets where there is a high unmet need, this is what helps provider and also help payers you know, pay for it. Yeah. So that's step number one of the innovation strategy. The second one was, okay, how can we be smart at spotting the molecule that will make a difference in changing standard of care? So we have internal competence. You know, we've done topicals for 60 years. I think we have some of the best CMC people in the world to do topicals. The question is, if we're not good at doing other things internally, let's partner. And, and so if you're clear on what kind of disease you want to play in, if you're clear on what kind of modalities or product you want to acquire to change standard of care, this is a partner and development model. This is where we are actually inviting people to say, hey, bring your idea forward, let's partner, because we are uniquely positioned to then bring the innovation to all the regulators in the world, like the FDA, EMA, Japan, and China, and so on. And now we can serve patients across the globe in, in 70 countries. So you're enabling your business to be at the cutting edge of innovation. Yeah, exactly. And I think it started as a pretty ambitious idea. But look, the CEO of Gilead picked Leo for the Stat6, and he wanted to partner. We partnered with them. Bering and Engelheim saw the same thing. They were like, mm, you know, Leo, actually, they know their stuff. Mm. And the partnership models allow us to be very pragmatic, leveraging the strengths we have, but also where we feel partnering is, is maximizing the value. I will not hesitate in doing this more.